Hey guys, today I'll talk about uh, Shape Master again and how to use it as a really interesting quantizer as well as um, phase driven sequencer. Um, so let's set this up. Um, we need to um, first of all switch to another mode, so CV, and we will select our range, in this case one octave. I want to quantize only into one octave and connect our LFO and now we are ready to create our own scale so I'll I say okay I want eight notes in my scale and I'm holding shift and command and uh, decoupling this nodes also help avoiding any glitches now, obviously, this is a waste of time to use Shape Master as such a simple uh, quantizer. But uh, for inspiration, I created a bunch of presets uh, here, different quantization quantizers. They're still fairly basic, but I hope you can, you guys can can you make use of it as a starting point for something more complex. So here I have three octave quantizer with various scales. And uh, one thing worth mentioning is that this quantizer is now proportional, uh, which is very useful. Uh, obviously, you can, with Shape Master, you can distort uh, many things here, so a lot of uh, possibilities. And uh, yeah, this is another uh, idea I had, which is spreading intervals in the lower register so it sounds more musical, like, you know, the way you play on the piano. And finally, this one, uh, if you ever use this preset, uh, you're supposed to use it with uh, random input, otherwise it doesn't really make sense. So, um, yeah, um, notice what happens. Certain notes will be mo more likely to be cho uh, chosen. So C, G, um, then uh, E flat in this case. Uh, so we are we're deciding basically on we are in reinforcing certain tonality. And finally, I have uh, another idea here, which is um, another preset, a harmonic series. It's always nice to have those, and for subharmonic subharmonican uh, fans. So yeah, these uh, you will find them in that last uh, folder. And um, before we go, I want to mention that let's suppose that we will drive this. We will will use uh, second channel as our. Uh, LFO. Let's decouple. Um, just a straightforward ramp. I will patch it back to channel one. And slower. So now I'm running this uh, LFO through a quantizer. However, conceptually, um, you know, this quantizer is actually a phase driven sequencer. sequence. Uh, let's do it faster. So why it's a big deal? Well, because uh, think about it, this uh, sequencer is not controlled by a clock, it's controlled by the phase, and phase can be distorted. The phase can also be glitched. So 
yeah, you have a lot of opportunities here. Uh, this shape can be also, uh, you know, 30 minutes long. So many possibilities um, to explore here. All right, that's it for today, um, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I have to say, I still feel like we just scratched the surface. And <laughs> look what happened. And uh, there's still so many amazing things we can do with this module. So uh, see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.